let's look at rational equations. Remember, like I said earlier, rational is collegiate for fraction. Rational means that you've got variables in the denominator. So that's the difference between example three from page one in all of these examples right here. And actually I'm going to add in an example to make it a little harder because you're going to see them on the homework. Um, so I may actually skip, well, no, I won't skip, but I'll add. So in our work with solving equations in one variable, we will often need to solve an equations with the left-hand side or the right-hand side contain one or more rational expressions. So here are examples, and they're all going to have right the different kind of versions, conditional contradiction, identity. And then I'm going to add one more in. So up first is who likes fractions, right? Nobody and liars. So what I typically try to do is clear the fractions first. But again, not everyone does this. That's totally fine. Um, everyone has a little bit different way they like to do it, but that's because all of our brains work differently. Your math background, um, how your brain is wired, it all matters, comes into play in terms of how you want to solve something. So if you find a way of solving that's different from mine, I don't care. I'm, I care that it makes sense to you. So up first, number one. Again, for one, two, and three, and four, I'm going to try to take beats before I start all of them just so that you have time to pause the video and then start it after you've tried it. So again, I would like for you to pause the video, attempt it, and then start the video after you've tried. So I've got number one. 1 over 5x minus 1 over 4x plus 1 over 3x equals negative 17 over 60. So first thing to ask is what would be a common denominator? So common denominator. I'm going to shorthand for CD. So what's the common denominator for 1? That would be 60x, right? So one thing that I like to do for all of the, well, actually here, let's go through it. I lied. So the common denominator for one is 60x. The common denominator for two is negative, or excuse me, is x minus four, right? That one's already kind of there for us. But with one and four, three and four, what, excuse me, one, two, three, four, hello, is I like to leave myself little breadcrumbs because remember, what's the one number we can never, ever, ever, ever divide by? Zero, right? Can't divide by zero. Can't divide by zero. So with all of these, before I start, because I know myself, I leave myself what I'm calling little breadcrumbs so that I know that when I get to the end, if my answer is one of these numbers that we're about to talk about, then I know that I don't want that number. Because I also know myself, if I go on autopilot and I get an answer, I just say, okay, that's my answer. Let's move on. Uh, keep this ball rolling. So looking at number one, I know that X cannot equal zero, right? Because it's in the denominator. If I have five X equals zero, and I divide by five on both sides, I get that x equals zero. So if zero is the number that would make me divide by zero, I don't want that number. Like for number two, if I take the denominator, I solve for the letter or number, excuse me, that would give me zero. So in this case, if x equals four, I know that's the one number I do not want because it's going to be the number that would force me to divide by zero, and that's the one thing we cannot do. So like I said, I like to leave myself little breadcrumbs. So what's the number we can't divide by with three? So if the denominator is t plus three equaling zero, t cannot equal negative three. For four, if I've got 2w minus 2 equal to 0, add the 2, divide by 2, w equals 1, and same thing if we do with w minus 1 equals 0. 
So I know that for four, the one number we cannot have is one. Again, so I leave myself these little breadcrumbs right off the top because when I'm working on something, I just go on autopilot. And before I know it, like into the system, I would try to type in one, 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 one and be like, uh, they're wrong. My answer's one. But in fact, nope, they are right because we cannot use one as an answer for four because it would make us divide by zero. And again, like I said, that's the one thing we actually cannot do. So that's just kind of the setup for all of these um, four examples.